Hey, so today it's actually light, and so I decided to film sitting in a wheelbarrow in front of a bale of hay. Um, sorry about the shakiness of the video as I talk. My arm is moving, and I've got a dog here nudging my arm. Um, anyway, food today was different. Um, I'm just going to say it this way. I'm not used to eating this much meat. Uh, I'm supposed to eat four to eight ounces of meat with every meal, and then I'm supposed to eat small meals, and I'm supposed to eat a snack every two hours, and blah, 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 and it's just, it's killing me. Not really killing me. Kind of. Maybe? It doesn't seem healthy. It's a lot of meat to eat all day. You know, I eat meat. Don't get me wrong. I've always kind of enjoyed a little bit of meat here and there, or some meat here and there. Half pound hamburger. Two half pound hamburgers. But I am not used to eating meat with every meal. Um, turkey bacon with breakfast, okay, maybe. Or, okay, so I'm sorry, not meat, proteins. I'm supposed to have proteins with every meal. Um, I can have two to three eggs, or turkey bacon, or chicken breast, or steak, or lamb. And it's been rough for me because I don't eat that much meat. Like I said, a hamburger, two hamburgers. Um, I may have gone to down the road from work and gotten some Sonic and gotten two chicken sandwiches. But that wasn't every day. You know, I, I doesn't I don't eat that much meat every day. Never did. So it was really odd to me to try to force this much meat on myself. And it's it's also rough because I can't really put anything on it except salt and pepper. I'm trying to figure out how to garnish it a little differently. I think tonight I'm going to make some salsa. Uh, lettuce. I'm allowed to have tomato, onion, garlic, and cilantro. Those are all my list of things I can have. Hooray! So I'm going to make some salsa. Bland salsa. I'm not allowed to have any any pepper in it. So, and I don't like cumin. No, I'm gonna leave cumin out. Um, but I'm going to be able to have salsa, and so I might take the steak and slice it up and put put it in salsa or put salsa on it rather, and put it in a dish overnight. Uh, give it a little different flavor, you know. But. This is a lot of meat, and it's confusing to me. Um, you know, and you gotta eat. I gotta eat what I have at the house. You know, I living out in the country. You know, the closest store is half an hour away. I don't have a half hour every day to drive to the grocery store to get food and then drive half an hour home. So I've got to kind of pre-plan, and pre-planning has not been my forte. When it comes to food, I know what I will eat, but at the same time, when I'm like, "Hey, salad sounds good," it's because salad right then sounds good. It's not because salad sounds good tomorrow for lunch. It's because it sounds good today for lunch. Um, so that's been rough. So I've been eating a lot of carrot sticks. We have carrots at the house. Um. I went and got some cucumber. I can have cucumber, so... Oh, yeah, so for after I took steak and carrot sticks for breakfast and lunch, my wife was very kind and generous. She made some food for me and brought it to me. Ah, I'm so blessed to have her do that. Um, it was actually cola flour and um, eggs, scrambled eggs, cola flour, and when I say cold flour, it was like chopped up little tiny bits. Uh, I guess it was something that her and her mom found in a store one time. It's like cold flour rice. It's like a rice replacement with cold flour instead. It works. It doesn't have a very strong cold flour smell. I mean, cold flour doesn't really have much of a smell anyway, but it worked. Um, and she also put cucumber in that and cooked it all together, kind of skilleted it. Skilleted it. 
It's not even a wart. Skilleted? Doesn't matter. Just made it up. Threw it all in the skillet, cooked it up, warmed it, and brought it in to work for me. Which was amazing. Um, I also She also brought me an apple cut up because yesterday my supervisor got on my case because I took a break to several breaks. I took several breaks during the day. Oh my goodness, I'm allowed three 15 minute, or two 15 minute breaks and a half hour lunch. I don't take them. Oh my goodness, I stopped for five minutes to go shell some hard boiled eggs. Oh my goodness, why would I do that? I, I stopped. I could have been doing something. Um, also, uh, the tomato. I stopped and went three minutes and cut up a tomato. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? Every time you walk away, something goes wrong with the machi- this machine in here. You've just got to stay where you're at. Can't leave. You have to take 15-minute breaks. You're going to have to schedule your 15-minute breaks. It would be nice if we could just walk away like this, but we can't. We just have to schedule your 15-minute breaks because when you leave, things go wrong. You realize, of course, that a five-minute break and a three-minute break... Oh, and I think I went to the bathroom once. I won't know. You want to count that for a break? Two minutes. Uh, that's what? Ten? Nine? Nine minutes now? Ten. Ten minutes. Oh my goodness, I'm going to allow two 15-minute breaks. I have to start taking my two 15-minute breaks, and I'm going to have to schedule my two 15-minute breaks. I just took two, one 10-minute break combined... And she's getting chewing me out for it. it. Blows my mind. I mean, do they really want to pay an extra half hour of overtime? I mean, I've been getting a lot of overtime anyway. If I take my breaks, that means I'm working extra overtime. I don't have a problem with that, but I think it's ridiculous. And then if I do take a break, I get chewed out for it. So, I'm okay. I'm sorry. I'm venting a little bit. Life happens. Most of the time, she's a really good supervisor. It's just stupid stuff like that just really gets to me. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, enough about that. So my wife cut up the apple for me and brought it in so that I wouldn't get in, tr- in trouble for stopping to cut up an apple to eat. Yeah. Um, anyway, so... Don't know where I was going with all that. Anyway, my food's pretty good today, what I did eat of it. Um, It's starting to get dark, as you can tell. And as you probably tell from the color change of the phone, um, of the video, it actually is getting darker, and so I probably better get off before it gets too much darker and call tonight. I still have to get some hay together for the horses and... Get them fed before it gets to that. Hence the reason I'm sitting in the wheelbarrow. Did I tell you I was sitting in a wheelbarrow? Yeah, check it out. Sitting in a lounging. Lounging in the wheelbarrow. Oh, you can't see the wheelbarrow. Right there. Lounging in the wheelbarrow. Um, yep. Feet up on the... Yep. Feet up on the handlebars of the wheelbarrow. Lounging. Why not? <laughs> um... So, that's all I'm going to say for tonight, I guess. Um, my thankful thing for today is that at least I have a job. Um, the help that I've gotten in there, today was her first actual day in there. I mean, Monday was technically her first day, but she was only there for a couple hours. Uh, she is... Tell you all or not? Yeah, she's already told everybody. So I mean, it's not a secret. The gal I work with, uh, the new gal, is pregnant. Um, she just technically found out today from the doctor that she's pregnant, um, even though she's known for a while. So, but you don't know until the doctors tell you. You don't know anything until the doctors tell you. If the doctors tell you you're sick, then all of a sudden you got to be sick. Sorry. Um, to have faith in much in very many doctors either. Uh, yeah. So, but of course I'm going to one. Hence, how I found out that I have this problem, or won't claim this problem. This is not my problem. How I found out that there was a problem 
that I'm getting rid of. That's how it works. Um, so that's my thankful for thing is the help has been very much appreciated at work. And I actually got out earlier today than usual. It was only an hour and a half late today compared to two and a half, three hours late, like usual. So uh, I was just throwing this out there. Last week, my wife and children were sick all on the same day. And so I went into work for a little bit because I'm supposed to be at work at 630. And if I don't go to work, I get in trouble. If I go and go to work for a half day, I get in less trouble or a part day. If I, if I go to work, clock in on time and then leave early, I only get in half the trouble. So, I decided it would be best for me to go into work and leave early, which I did. I was supposed to leave at 8.30, left at 9.30, um, went home and took care of everybody for the rest of the day. But, even with that being said, and only getting three hours of in that day, actually, I looked at the time clock, it was about three hours and 27 minutes, I think, so... It was closer to 10 o'clock. Um, I still ended up with five and a half hours of overtime for the week. Yeah, that's how much overtime I've been working. Had I stayed and finished up that day, you could have added another four hours to that. Four or five hours, if even five or six hours to that. Because I would have stayed longer and done more. So I would have had close to 11 hours of overtime um, had I stayed all day. But I didn't, thankfully, because... It's ridiculous. Um, anyway, again, it's getting darker, and I had my my thankful thing, and um, yeah. So for that that being it for tonight, I, I feel like I, I need a verse here, and I had a verse earlier that was just it was really really good, and it's eluding me right now. Anyway, um, for tonight, that's it. Y'all have a blessed evening, blessed day. Take care and be safe.